Recent research suggests that the first supernovae not only forged the heavy elements necessary for planets and life, but also flooded the cosmos with water much earlier than previously thought. This groundbreaking revelation challenges our understanding of the early universe, rewrites the timeline of chemical evolution, and sparks new questions about the conditions for habitability in the cosmos. In this video, we'll explore how these early supernovae shaped the universe, the science behind this discovery, why it's so important, and what it means for the search for life beyond Earth. The earliest stars, known as Population 3 stars, emerged from primordial gas composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. These stars were colossal, with masses ranging from tens to hundreds of times that of our Sun. Due to their immense size, they burned their nuclear fuel rapidly, leading to relatively short lifespans of just a few million years. When these massive stars reached the end of their lives, they exploded in cataclysmic events known as supernovae. There are two primary types of supernova associated with population three stars, core collapse supernovae and pair instability supernovae. Core collapse supernovae occur in stars with masses around 10 to 50 solar masses, while pair instability supernovae are theorized to happen in stars exceeding approximately 140 solar masses. These explosive events were responsible for dispersing heavy elements, or metals, such as oxygen, into the surrounding interstellar medium. Oxygen plays a crucial role in the formation of water. In the aftermath of these supernovae, the expelled oxygen could interact with the abundant hydrogen present in the early universe. Under the right conditions, these interactions would lead to the synthesis of water molecules, this process suggests that the first supernovae were instrumental in introducing water into the cosmos, seeding the universe with one of the essential ingredients for life as we know it. Following the dispersal of heavy elements by population three supernovae, the early universe began to witness the formation of molecular clouds enriched with these newly synthesized materials. Molecular clouds are dense regions of gas and dust that serve as the birthplaces of stars and planets. The introduction of oxygen into these clouds set the stage for the formation of water molecules. Recent simulations have provided compelling insights into this process. Researchers modeled the explosions of both 13 solar mass and 200 solar mass population, three stars, to understand the subsequent chemical enrichment. The findings revealed that the remnants of these supernovae led to molecular clouds with water fractions significantly higher than those observed in the Milky Way today. Specifically, these early molecular clouds contain 10 to 30 times more water, indicating a surprisingly water-rich environment in the universe's infancy. This elevated water abundance suggests that as early as 100 to 200 million years after the Big Bang, the universe possessed the necessary components for water formation. Such conditions could have implications for the early development of life, as water is a fundamental solvent and medium for biochemical reactions. However, it's essential to consider that the early universe was also subjected to intense radiation fields and other astrophysical processes that could disrupt water molecules potentially leading to periods where water was less stable or abundant. This groundbreaking discovery about population three supernovae flooding the cosmos with water is a piece of a larger puzzle in our understanding of cosmic evolution. The role of water and heavy elements in shaping the universe has been confirmed through various observations and studies across multiple cosmic phenomena. One striking example comes from distant galaxies observed using advanced instruments like the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. These observations have detected water vapor and oxygen in regions billions of light years away, showing that water formation was not a late stage cosmic phenomenon, but likely began during the universe's infancy. This challenges previous assumptions that water primarily formed during later epochs 
when stars and galaxies were more mature. Quasars, powered by supermassive black holes, have also been instrumental in unveiling the chemical composition of the early universe. Spectral studies of quasars show heavy elements, including oxygen, in ancient intergalactic gas clouds. These findings further support the idea that Population 3 stars contributed significantly to enriching the cosmos with the necessary components for water formation. A particularly intriguing avenue of research has been the analysis of ancient molecular clouds found in regions of active star formation. These molecular clouds contain not just water, but also organic molecules, some of which are considered precursors to life. Their presence indicates that the universe may have been chemically prepared for life far earlier than previously believed. For example, high concentrations of water molecules in these clouds suggest that environments conducive to forming building blocks of life existed as early as 100 to 200 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery also connects to broader questions about habitability across the cosmos. The early universe, while harsh and bathed in intense radiation, likely contained pockets where water molecules could survive and accumulate. These environments might have served as early incubators for chemical reactions that set the stage for life. The tantalizing possibility is that microbial life, or at least its precursors, could have originated in such regions long before the first galaxies fully formed. Moreover, this research has profound implications for understanding water's role in planetary formation. Traditionally, Earth's water has been attributed to icy comets or hydrated asteroids. However, the abundance of water in the early universe suggests that water was already widespread long before the solar system's formation. This shifts the narrative of Earth's water from being a local anomaly to part of a universal process that dates back to the dawn of cosmic history. The connection between these early findings and the discovery of exoplanets is another exciting aspect. In systems like TRAPPIST-1, where multiple Earth-like planets orbit within a habitable zone, researchers can compare the conditions for water formation with the environments modeled for the early universe. The parallels could help determine whether life-supporting conditions existed elsewhere from the universe's earliest epochs. Finally, this discovery also sets the stage for the future of observational astronomy. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and future observatories will enable us to probe the earliest molecular clouds and star-forming regions with unprecedented precision. Webb's ability to detect faint infrared signals from ancient structures could allow astronomers to directly observe environments similar to those predicted in simulations. This would provide invaluable insights into how heavy elements like oxygen dispersed, how water formed, and whether the universe was primed for habitability shortly after its birth. These broader implications highlight the interconnectedness of cosmic phenomena. Each new discovery builds upon the last, creating a richer understanding of the universe's history and its potential for life. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the early universe's watery origins. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might find it fascinating. Until next time, keep looking up. Thank you.